Hello and welcome to the Madhouse everyone, this is the 10th episode of the build of the week for Grim Dawn and uh, well things are going to change a little bit since honestly I have run out of the best builds out there and uh, we are going to start experimenting with things, I have read the forums, I have read the reddit posts and everything and um, this particular issue has popped up more than once, true it was a little bit old but still, it was there, people were asking for it, and so I decided to start making a pure mastery series, and I have started with the hardest one of them all. Here you guys have a pure arcanist. We all know there have been many complaints about the arcanist not being good enough, not uh, recording too many points, not being up to uh, the other masteries out there, but this build showcases that, well, it is possible to clear the end game with a pure arcanist and we are going into skills right here i have plus three by the way from my items and i have maxed inner focus one point into arcane will seven points into mental alacrity maxed fabric of reality and uh, our only skill is going to be the ether ray i have maxed the first one and also maxed disintegration I put one point into the replicating missile this is just because I got a little bit annoyed by the destructibles you can totally take this point out one point in the mirror and here is where things become interesting here is where you can experiment with the build I have chosen the sphere of protection you guys know that I'm not a big fan of this particular skill the sphere of protection but uh, nine tricks managed to sell me on this one and after playing with it it is actually good this skill is actually really good so I have put five points into that and one point into conversion you can actually play around with uh, with these particular points in here you can get uh, remove the one from arcane will remove the maven sphere and also remove the one point from conversion and you got seven points to play with the real issue here is that we do not have enough points to actually keep building other things so we are left with uh, with only seven points jumping into items and this is where it becomes really tricky especially th because this particular character is uh, well my, it's my second character first of all ever and um, well I did mess up the attributes the attributes are wrong by the way do not th this is not good you need 400 into physique and that is the reason why I cannot actually equip these incorruptible emerald rings of readiness which I really really want but I just cannot because of my legs, they require way too much physique and my shoulders do the same thing and so I have this general scupper band of the serpent that I am going to go into a little bit further so let's uh, take it from the beginning, I have this adept's dagger of fury ignore the chaos damage there, the to total damage is good 18 reduced daggers to resistance for 5 seconds offensive, offensive, energy regen, energy regen, attack and casting speed and I have put one wrath stone in there uh, components are going to be a little bit tricky I am going to talk about them once I finish all the items in here so we have a renegades ornate rope of menhir's will I would have loved an invigorating one but again the physique really really is an issue for this particular guy because I did mess up the attributes and uh, this one uh, has health a little bit of cunning cunning is totally unimportant for for this particular build Offensive, defensive, 4.4 energy regen per second, energy regeneration increased by 9%, little bit of armor, physical resist, bleeding resist, and also some attack speed retaliation there with a hallowed ground with plus one to all skills in Arcanist. We have the regular consecrated raider leggings of the Dragon Ghoul, they are just too good to pass with uh, ancient armor plate in there. I have Haunt, Haunt is uh, the relic to go for. However, the completion bonus is wrong in here, it does have the Calados Tempest one, so you can actually get a better one than this, it does have plus one to Arcanist as well. We have the old utility pack, and the reason for that is the energy region. I did keep the old utility pack, although it is just a regular item, it's not really good, you can get a better rare one, you can craft a better rare one, 
but I have chosen to go to this with this one mainly because I am a lazy bastard and uh, well the stats are all right I have put a dense fur in there because I do not like cold abilities this one is of course wrong again the same reason I am a lazy bastard this is a cutthroats badge of the dragon ghoul cutthroats is totally useless for this character but I am keeping it for the dragon ghoul affix I am too lazy to craft a better one and uh, well I did not have a component to put in there in all honesty so I did put an attitude lodestone it's bad but it works and uh, we're jumping into legs in here, well feet. We have Adept's Greaves of a Dragon Ghoul, this one is a pretty good one, honestly. Uh, the offense and defensive values are really low, but it works, it has health uh, and energy region. Movement speed, which is really important, uh, usually crafted boots do not have movement speed, so I'm happy even with a 5% and some slow resistance in there with a mark of Mogdragon. Chainmail Gloves of the Dragon Ghoul, this one again is missing an affix, same as my shoulders. Spellwoven Threads in there, I think Spellwoven Threads is uh, is the component to go for. We have Frontier Shoulder Guards of the Dragon Ghoul, missing a bloody affix. With a Silk Swatch for the resistances. And uh, this is where it gets interesting, we are the upper part of, um, of the items. We have Crushing Will, and uh, Crushing Will works, it's good. I think everyone has at least one crushing wheel so you can go with it however you can find a better rare one and I have put a radiant gem in there with a completion bonus of physique and spirit god that is awful but the reason why I did that is because I, I just needed it so that I could equip my items and we have general scupper band of the serpent two of them again if you have an incorruptible like this I would totally go for it I have put a uh, mark of illusions with 7% uh, elemental resistance in both of them I am using them because I need the physique that uh, that they, they give me we have general school fetish of the eagle same reason here the offensive is really good defensive is fine health region energy region but the physique cunning and spirit values are really high so uh, this one is actually great for this build and I have another crown in here, you can totally replace it. Actually it might be better if you replace it because you do have these extra 7 points that you have to spend. So it might be better if you just replace this with a rare one that is going to benefit the resistances or even your damage. And I have put the traditional runestone in there. Okay, so um, well we basically finished the skills and uh, the items, which is what uh, we're talking about during build of the week. and. Uh, for this build, we have another issue, actually plenty of issues, because well, it's an Arcanist. Arcanists are really tough, like people said on the forums, but I made it work somehow. And uh, well, um, the problems are, the main issue is uh, energy region, because we are using the Ether Ray, and we all know that Ether Ray is, uh, is just burning through your energy. You can see there 556 0.6 energy cost per second okay that is huge so look at that it is burning through my energy really fast and um, if uh, we're looking here my energy region is actually close to 100 per second so it's huge not I haven't seen any any well none of my characters actually have gotten to 93 energy region per second so you can actually go a little bit higher with uh, certain components and certain items I would totally suggest that if you do have the items and uh, well that is the biggest issue of the build the second biggest issue of uh, a pure arcanist is survivability because this is what people have been complaining about the damage is insane absolutely insane most of the time uh, but uh, the issue is survivability so this is the reason why I have finally chosen to delve into the sphere of protection and the sphere actually solves that uh, survivability issue and actually makes this build work and uh, be able to do the end game currently in Grim Dawn. With that being said uh, I'm going to go and do some gameplay. We have Steps of Torment. Alright guys we made it into the Steps of Torment and in here I'm going to show you 
what uh, what the problems are really with with Arcanist and um, as I said the big one is going to be mana we are going to run out of mana at a certain point especially if we have to keep fighting like this so that's the reason why I'm going to skip a few monsters so that I am comfortable with my mana otherwise we would just run out honestly we would just run out of mana and we would be running around waiting for our energy potion to to be off cooldown so you are going to see just that once we actually get to the bosses hopefully it's not going to be so bad we're just going to be waiting a few seconds for for the energy potion to to be recharged and uh, well with the sphere the survivability issue is pretty much solved you do have to use some potions every now and then but uh, it's all good the damage is fine it is a little bit not fine on bosses but uh, well as I said uh, that is um, in comparison with the uh, with the other builds out there but still the damage is good the, this damage that the other ray does is considered good so it does one shot most most monsters and uh, in four ticks maybe five you can kill uh, you can kill a hero so we are making our way in here I have actually tried a um, a build just like this but it was um, wasn't even build 23 when when I tried that and it really really failed so I have not touched Arcanist since except uh, well I have not touched either Ray since actually because I knew it was extremely difficult to build I actually just gave up okay so in here you have um, have a demonstration of uh, the mana issues only now did uh, our mana potion come off cooldown we're doing fine nothing is really is really dangerous in here though we were surrounded by monsters and yeah, we still are that's the reason why I did get the replicating missile so that I could shoot annoying things okay let's let's get out of here the only thing about a missile, as, as you saw, is that sometimes it does prevent uh, movement and is annoying, but what can you do? Okay, plenty of monsters uh, this time around in Steps of Torment. really think they, they increased... Um, well, I know they changed the way that uh, monster groups spawn, so um, I think that was the reason. Alright, we are more than halfway through Pain really like that sphere of protection now especially if uh, especially if your character is like this if you, f you feel you're f like you're dying then uh, go for the sphere it, it is really good okay so we made it through pain let's keep going here all right we are in misery making our way towards the first boss there's not really okay this is not good not good in here plenty of mobs I'm going to stop here and kill them pop pop the sphere pop the sphere pop the sphere yes okay so as I said before many people said that you just cannot play an arcanist it's not good enough it's not well you can do it okay it's not optimal but you can definitely do it Another thing, they I know they changed the way that uh, Ether Ray turns. So right now, uh, it actually turns a lot faster than it did when uh, when it got implemented. So I do suggest recasting it. It has been proven that uh, instead of uh, just turning with the whole beam, you should recast it. But even I sometimes do not do that because it's just easier to to turn it around than, uh, than to recast it. Okay, so we made it to the first boss. And it has gone down really fast. Well, that was the boss. As I said, the damage is really good. The only problem is energy. And right now I'm going to show you. So that 
we just ran out of energy, our energy potion is on cooldown, there it is. So that is going to happen, especially on bosses and uh, if uh, you're actually fighting constantly. Let's open up the gate in here. And uh, go for the actual steps of torment. Alright, the gates are open. Let's keep going in here. Uh, I'm not going to bother with these guys, we're going straight into the death room. Into suffering we go in here and let's check out the layout. It does look fine, we are about to go into the death room. I am going to skip most of the mobs in here so that we can get some, uh, some nice clean gameplay. Here we are inside the death room and um, in here we are going to have some mana issues. Okay, we got that taken care of. I have put move 2 on my um, on my left mouse click because uh, I don't want to accidentally hit mobs if uh, if I have to run in here. Okay, everything looks good. Everything looks good. I have to be careful with my mana. That's a reflect mob. Reflect is pretty bad for this build. Let's pop that and okay we got that guy down. So now we are indeed out of energy. Okay one more champion got him and this was the death room. Okay so not many issues we did run out of energy at one point but overall it was fine. Let's see what's in here nothing much let's keep going and up ahead we have um, the most challenging boss right now for this particular build and uh, it's going to be the one up top so uh, uh, Ilgo the Undying or Immortal I, I can't remember what his full name is but anyway he he comes back to life and that is ridiculously bad because we don't have the mana to kill him twice so I shall have to be extremely careful in there. Okay, let me pop that so I can skip this. If I see a champion, I will stop to kill it. Bad, really bad um, layout in here, so it's going to be quite annoying. I have to go to the right. Okay, let's make a little bit of way in here. Okay. Good, we are close to Ilgo. No, 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 do not stand in that. And what I am going to do and what I suggest doing if uh, if you decide to try this uh, pure arcanist out, every time you are near uh, a, an important boss that you would think um, you're going to run out of energy, do not engage him until you have um, your energy potion off cooldown and uh, a full bar of energy so come on stop stop coming after me I'm going to now I can melee him down okay so right now I'm going to wait for my energy to regen and I'm going to go in with a full energy bar as well as my elixir on off cooldown okay alright I think I think we're fine now let's go in there he is. I'm going to burn him down. Okay. That's that. He's going to come back to life. Okay. Pop the mirror. And that's it. So after all, it was it was alright. But uh, I strongly suggest you do that. I strongly suggest you wait for a full energy, energy bar and uh, your elixir to be off cooldown before you engage such a champion or boss okay let's go into the last level of steps of torment in here we have anguish the vendor is up top my god this layout is horrible it's going to be a lot of running okay I have to go all the way up there to get the merchant and then come back all right sure we'll do just that it's going to be a lot of running a lot of skipping mobs 
I definitely hope that I don't... Were they fighting between them? Oh my god, so cool. Uh, I, I am scared that I will uh, get blocked somewhere in a certain ridiculous position. And that will be my death. But so far so good. Not like these, these doors, because they are potential choke points. Okay, we are almost there. What's that? A door. Open up. Let me through. Hey, you bastard, just die. Okay, let's clear this out so that they stop chasing me. I don't like when something is chasing me. And we're almost there. I'm going to clear this. Okay. Nice, lovely straight line there. Pop a potion. Clear everything. And there is the vendor. I'm going to pop the mirror. Check the... Eh, nothing. Nothing of value there. That's fine. We are going to go back now. And... Uh, I haven't seen any hero monster yet in anguish, which is pretty rare. Usually this place is packed not only by uh, by common mobs like these, but also heroes. But I haven't seen anything so far, which is quite strange. But I'll take that. Alright, I shall have to clear this out. This uh, this is where an AOE ability would be really good. When you got plenty of stuff chasing you, and uh, you just want to get rid of them really fast. Okay, so as you s as you can see, we can get surrounded. It's not it's not nice, but we can get surrounded. We just have to pop the sphere of protection or the mirror if it is off cooldown, and we're going to be fine. Okay, let me get through here, kill that. Do not get in melee range of that, by the way. Never. Okay, the gate is open. I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, come on. Going to wait for my energy to regen. I do have uh, the Elixir of Spirit off cooldown. So let's go in here. And this guy actually does interrupt you. Which is uh, which is new, but uh, he does do that. But it is really easy to kill. And with this, we are finished with steps of torment. Overall, it is quite a difficult place for for this build, just because uh, the monster there are so many monsters, so many packs, and they tend to surround you. But it can be done. Uh, you can bypass them. You can actually take it a, a little bit slower and kill them off. But it is your choice after all. And now we are going to go to the Herald of Flame. Going into the Herald of Flame run in here. And um, first of all, I have to tell you guys, this is a lot more dangerous than Steps of Torment for my character. Because I have zero ether resistance and that is extremely bad uh, for this particular run. And uh, also they changed a few things. The ether crystal formations. Uh they reflect a lot more damage than they used to and uh, we have plenty of annoying mob types in here that are really really annoying for for this build because um, well they take a long time to kill and uh, we, we have to spend a lot more mana on them so in here I have popped my mirror and that is how you engage other crystals I'm going to do it without anything here and you saw that is reflect so uh, you can kill yourself in uh, a matter of seconds with this build while um, while fighting these other crystals if you do not have something up either the sphere or the mirror they will both work you can sometimes get away with just a health potion but uh, that would be a little bit a bit, little bit risky so I do not recommend that let's keep going here I do not like these uh, this position. Don't like this position at all. Target on the Dominator. Okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Don't block me. Alright. So you can see here, this area is extremely dangerous. 
and these uh, scarecrows are really really bad because uh, they spawn that little orb at the end and it is a little bit hard to target that down with the beam see like that okay target down the reanimators just as usual going to pop the sphere there and keep going we haven't seen any champions yet I am taking it a little bit slower Okay. Right. Let's keep going, keep going. Oh. Dominator, get out, get out of my way. That whoa, I can't see anything there. Okay. Here is uh, the first hero. And he went down really fast, but uh, he was a reflect, so uh, be careful with that. I'll take that. Shield of Redemption. I do have one already. Alright, we are getting close to the part where the Ethereals and the Chthonics are fighting and it is most probably Chthonians I have seen. But I still keep calling them Chthonics. Alright, take it easy there. Here we are and also be careful while, uh, while engaging uh, these packs in here. If uh, both forces are going to be ganging up on you, then uh, you're going to have a hard time. And wow, the Chthonics won! Incredible. They don't uh, they don't win many times. So it's cool to see them winning. Okay, okay, there is uh, another hero. Cool. Get the reanimators down. And we are going to get inside a little hut. Be very careful in here. Oh, come on. There we go. For many reasons. First, most probably you're not going to be able to see shit. So, kite them back a little bit. Strongly suggest to do that. The Archmages are very, very dangerous. So, be careful when uh, when fighting these. Uh, I could saw there. Alright, we made it. We made it to the Herald himself. Let's clear everything here. And most definitely we are going to run out of energy while fighting the Herald. We are doing that little trick. We are waiting for our energy to regen. We also have uh, an elixir. So there we go. Let's engage the Herald. And they also changed the Herald of Flame. He's got uh, two faces now. Like you can see. So he is a little bit different. Uh, during the first phase he is a static monster, he does not move. And during the second phase he does move, like you can you can see here. And he's also got some new abilities. But that was the good old Herald with his lovely one-shot chest at the end that I'm not going to touch. And with this we are concluding uh, this build of the week. Also, mm, right now that you can see it, here is uh, you complete a quest in here lost armaments you can do this claim this resource for the black legion and there you have it so if you're wondering where that quest is it's right here anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it it is uh, the first build of the week that we do with a pure class and it was the hardest one but we made it we got it all the way through and um it is not a really really good character it's not a really really good build if you want if you really want to go other way then um there are other other ray builds out there. Nitrix got one, so you are free to check that one out. It is pretty good. It is a lot better than this one, but pure arcanist can work. So uh, if you guys want to make, especially a pure arcanist, well, you can do it. You can try it out. It does work. Just make sure you do not go as glass cannon as I did in here. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I shall see you all next time.